Kijana kijana ya shule mama bibi <laughs> chuo chini kuperekaje Niko poa shule tunasoma tu Yeah, yeah so uh, so yangu ni ya kwanza kwanza ni simple like uh, what's your real names Okay <laughs> Majina yangu kamili ni Joseph Mwangi Mwai. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so w- what else do you do apart from uh, fashion and design? Okay, mimi nakuwa na hasu kibao. <laughs> Tuanze tu hapo. <laughs> Ukisikia tu jina mm-hmm. unaelewa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Kitu ya kwanza, mm-hmm. mimi ni mwanafunzi mm-hmm. nasoma. Mm-hmm. I'm doing diploma mm-hmm. in telecommunication engineering. Mm-hmm then kuna hii side hustle na kuanga nayo mm. nafanyanga hiyo fashion and design mm-hmm. so uh, yeah. mimi wenyewe ina ina, ina kuanga na kupush mm-hmm. as much as you are a student to do a side hustle like unlike any other person mwenye ana feel like education is the everything like ana need kwa life hii hey, konya nimetoka mtu wangu <laughs> eh hey. mm-hmm. The moment tunapata kila asubuhi uwezi pigia mzazi simu mwambie mean okay amia mm-hmm. tuanze tu hapo mm-hmm. Ndio ndio bado wezi pigia mzazi simu mwambie nitumie 200 mm. nataka kununua sapa mm. nitumie 200 nataka kununua hii mm. so job boy chat we tunaishi yeah. mahitaji ni mingi mm-hmm. so inabidi tutafute tu side hustle tu ingine oh. yeah. so kenye ilifanya ukahavu kwanza your own hustle mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni because ya venye hali ilikuwa home yeah 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 yeah, yeah. sure oh, na by the so leo leo tunaongelea talent mm-hmm. versus education mm-hmm. so unakuwa na dai kujua huko side gani <coughs> talent versus education yeah okay. mimi kwanza mm-hmm. niko sijui ni niko kwa both both mm-hmm. cuz unapata kitu ya kwanza mm-hmm. i do mini msani mm-hmm. about from msani mm-hmm. pia nasoma unasikia mm-hmm. ni unapata zote tu unajifanya tu zote tu pamoja mm-hmm. yeah So unaona like both of them zinaendana. So what what ina ku driving? Unajua kuna ule mtu anasemanga achane malize chuo instead of ya kuma, kufanya anything. Let me first get done with school and then it after two job and then ingine uh, atakuja kaa side hustle. What uh, what drives you to that point like uh, una feel like uh, unafanya both. Yaani una move ukimbia kwa talent mm-hmm. at the same time una like education. Mbona usiuseme like uh, you take one moja kuona pause na ingine yendele zinasaidiana mm-hmm. ya kuna vizi na athlet cuz unapata kama ni education mm-hmm. masomo saa zingine unapata unahitaji do mm-hmm. yo do hawezi mm-hmm. hawezi kitichini uombe mm-hmm. so itabitu umetumia hizo talents mm-hmm. kupata hiyo pesa unahitaji mm-hmm. ndio kuendeleza hiyo masomo mm-hmm. you know uh, according to statistics naonyesha like every year Uh, universities and colleges na release like 500,000 uh, st- students out huko nje mm-hmm. so it means like uh, out of this 500,000 mm-hmm. kuna like probability like 450,000 hawana employment yeah you know clearly and then uh, the rest maybe out of the 50 kuna wala naanza like uh, in uh, staff zao za kujenga uh, what makes someone uh, anasoma anasoma a certain uh, maybe anasoma course fulani mm-hmm. but after chuo afanye hiyo course okay na jack to moja mm-hmm. government it kuna usai mm-hmm. iko corrupt like we who is soma alafu expect you masomo mm-hmm. itakusaidia si watu wengi 60% wa wameleza campus mm-hmm. ni wenye hawajapata job kulingana na kosa nyao nafanya. Mm-hmm. Si unapata msi amefanya engineering mm-hmm. lakini ukuja huko nje mm-hmm. unapata anafanya kazi nyingine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hivyo ndo kuko. So nini na leading mse like mm-hmm. because na check yes as much as yeye kunaoni ni a government mm-hmm. ni, ni pressure ya life inafanya ufanye kitu kingine tofauti. I've met people wenye na dum JE sijasema mje ni mbaya mm-hmm. wana dum JE ako na degree wengine ako na madeep hapo hivyo wengine ako na masati you expect like such a person anaweza kuwa like ako uh, ako at least kwa hiyo post yenye alisomea ama kama yuko kwa hiyo post ako something close to that mm-hmm. unajua mm-hmm. the reason was strong but as a msi amesoma lakini mm-hmm. haizi tegemea masomo tu 100% because mm-hmm. unapata nini gava pa hivi sasa hivi nyeiko mm. expect pa hiyo mm. unapata government inaweza ina release 
more than 100,000 students. Mm-hmm. Sawa wote wezi expect wote watapata kazi ya government. Mm-hmm. Kuna nyinyi watapata kuna nyinyi watakosa. Mm-hmm. So unapata ukiketi chini mm-hmm. ndio utaumia. Mm-hmm. Unapata nini yetu iko azima tu utafuta kazi tuingine. So uh, does that show like uh, our, the education of uh, system ya Kenya iko like work? <laughs> Because <laughs> like for instance For instance, mm-hmm. we all go to study to get money, ndio? Yeah. Unaenda usome get employment. Mm-hmm. So uh, anything that unafanya na ikulete yini kama at the end of the day, uh, it means like uh, you are wasting cash. Yeah. Ama parent na waste cash mm-hmm. uh, on you kwa kinyenye na joto like wezi. Uh, what if I'm trying to think if yeah? mm-hmm. What if uh, your parent invest in that idea nyo uko nayo? Can things be different from uh, like kumaliza chuo? Okay. Mimi kama saa hii mm-hmm. ni kitu moja naweza support sana 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 sana. Mm-hmm. Like sasa unapata wazazi wetu, mm-hmm. hey. <laughs> <laughs> wazazi wetu ni wenye wanatambua masomo. Mm-hmm. Cuz me kusema tu kweli unapata nga ni wake it chini ka decide. You say ni kona kazi, mm-hmm. wacha kwanza niache na masomo, kwanza ni amwe kwanza nifanye kazi. Mm-hmm. Unapata nga hiyo kazi mm-hmm utafanya lakini mzazi mm. amelipa school fees so hataki kusikia kitu kama hiyo yeah. anataka 100% uconcentrate na masomo mm-hmm. kwanza usome mm. eh yeah, unajua one thing about ni learn education ya Kenya mm-hmm. unasoma upate kazi yeah ukimaliza kusoma unafanya kazi ya kutafuta kazi at the end of the day unajua mm-hmm. tunatafuta pesa yeah hiyo <laughs> ndio ndio watu hawaelewangi yeah so i think uh, Because, for instance uh, mm-hmm. ngoma fulani hapo tulikuwa tuna announce new songs mm-hmm. and they are they are kuna ada tunya ko Uganda nyinyi like the parents have been supporting them uh, wanafanyia hizo mangoma nini wana release the videos very young uh, like five years seven years or 12 years mm-hmm. and then kuna mwingine pia hapa juzi recently alifanya ngoma na boy fulani hapa anaitwa Junior Kabi so it's kind of a, like some parents like wanajua uh, the importance ya hiyo ya hiyo talent So do you think like uh, the parents should uh, support uh, e system ya yeah, like ku support gifts than when you make more effort kwa masomo because kuna ile watu wenyewe unajua kuna tu ile mtu wenye elimu ya kuangi hata chuo kuna ile wenye tu kwa high school kuna tu ile nye kitabu tu na yako anapatana but in talent kifika time entertainment mm-hmm. this is the number one pala ki entertain yeah so do you think like uh, the parents should uh, instead of the parents losing the parents should focus on uh, gift ya mtu wacha nikwambie kitu moja mm-hmm. ona majuu mm-hmm. in the western countries unapatanga mtu yeye mm-hmm. kutoka amezaliwa mm-hmm. after hiyo ija kuanza ku grow kuna that age msee anapata ku reveal nini talent yake yeah au sio akikamkujua talent yao msee kwa hamu au mpeleke si kama ni footballer mm-hmm. kupata hiyo anampeleka si juu kwa anda kufanya soma science is ni new mm-hmm. wakuangi unapata mm-hmm. ngamsi amechukua football anapeleka football academy mm-hmm. anaanza kusoma mm-hmm. like anasoma football 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 mm-hmm. but um see come kufikisha 19 years mm-hmm. like anajurika na old wide mm-hmm. asha kuwa yo ni ndo kimini na support sana ikuwe mm-hmm. yeah so uh, the, the same thing by then liko na mongia na tulikuwa tunasema the same point mm-hmm. apa hivi before uh, ile nilikuwa na reason hivi eh mm-hmm. Unajua when we were growing up everybody mm-hmm. had a dream mama had a vision mm-hmm. of whom whoever, whoever they wanna become when they grow up. Mm-hmm. So for instance I was tulikuwa uh, nilikuwa na argue hivi what if uh, our parents took their initiative to ta- to took us, uh, to take us to the courses that we wished to have done when we were kids. When we were kids. So, so for example kwa nataka kuwa lawyer unapare kwa pale kwa kwa koti unaongea na lawyer fulani so unapata hiyo passion ina ku grow because you interact with the person yeah, kwa hiyo post wenye unataka kukua yeah so do you think uh, such a stuff in as a side like uh, instead of uh, maybe we kupere kwa tu chuo yani uache usome tu peke mm-hmm. yake mm-hmm. once in a while unapere kwa hapo kwa court na unafanya cases na inaelezwa unapata mother yako ama buda yako ame connect na one of the lawyers hata uh, kama atakuwa na mjenga ama kama ni you want to be a doctor ana connect pale na daktari unafika pale unafanya the doctors wanafanya kazi zao do you think like ingechangia sana wasiku could live their dreams yeah and that's it they should be na fa kwa tu hivyo cuz napatanga most of our watu wadogo mm-hmm. unapata huko mdogo ndio uko na opportunities ya mpaka mind ina grow mm-hmm. so ukipata talent yako kitu unataka kupasiu mm-hmm. so ukipata huo ndo msemanyo unapata naye most of the time mm-hmm. hutaipotea mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So you need like a person that can always direct you to Yeah, I'm saying I could direct to nataka kufanya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Don. Yeah. Eh uh, umepotea umeenda Shimoni. <laughs> uh, so eh uh, umesikia venye ndugu yangu hapo hivi ana anasema points fulani hapo hivi. What do you think? Me about the education. Mhm. Yeah, I've had a friend. Mhm. I've had a friend who mwenye alikuwa na anasomea ualimu but uh, interest yake kuna venye haiko kwa ualimu sana mm-hmm. so interest yake ilikuwa kwa uh, uh, during uh, the his time at uh, at the university mm-hmm. alikuwa na ile urge ya kuwa mwalimu unaona mm-hmm. ile kusomea bachelor of education mm-hmm. but uh, by the time tuko tuna meet naye alikuwa kwa futhia mm-hmm. na alikuwa ananiambia like uh, akiwa kwa hiyo fourth year kuna venye interest ile change akiwa akiwa hapo university mm-hmm. interest ka change from uh, ualimu to photography and uh, mambo na video video hivi na mambo na poster mm-hmm. so alikuwa ananiambia like ana regret sana mm-hmm. mbona alifanya hiyo course unaona yeah. by the time uh, alikuwa anasema hivyo alikuwa amespend uh, mzazi wake alikuwa amespend kwa yake of uh, ilikuwa some uh, some good amount of millions Mm-hmm. kumsomesha ndiye pass kwa sababu university ilikuwa one of the prestigious ones like and the guy up to date mm-hmm. aliachananga na, na ualimu na nini hizo nini sasa hizi anafanya photography <laughs> <laughs> unaona so ananiambia anga like uh, ana regret sana mbona alisoma huko so by the time alipata nayo kwa hauko ame graduate mm-hmm. but alikuwa me, alikuwa na graduate lakini hakuwa na ile Mm. Najua ile excitement to me graduate yeah. kwa sababu naona hii hii ualimu haiende kumsaidia. Yeah. So mi kulingana na mimi naweza sema hivi. Mm. Uh, yes wazazi wazazi wanakuwa na pressure ti lazima umalize shule. Mm. After all maisha ni yako. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Maisha ni yako ya shule. Yeah, after all. Lakini mimi acha acha nijitetee. Mimi mi personally sikuenda sikuenda university. Interested <laughs> change when ningia. Nilingia college nika drop module 1 kwa sababu it found that uh, you interest hiyo mambo na masomo kuna venye hiyo masomo nilikuwa nafanya ni kama inisaidii vile so nikasema acha nikae nje kwa kiasi and then uh, baadaye uko naweza rudi ku kupasio hiyo kitu saa hiyo my, my passion and interest so yeah. i mean as i say like maisha ni yako yes m- yes mzazi atakupressure na hapa na pale after all you should be happy you mm-hmm. as a person mm-hmm. na u prosper kwa life unaona Mm. So it's not a matter of uh, lazima usome kitu ikusaidie na waste pesa. Aire kupatia hiyo kitu uko kwa passion yako itakusaidia sana. Kupatia hiyo pesa mm. ukiwa kwa passion yako. Unaona mm. kama sasa hii passion ya ya huyo mwenye tunaongelea hiyo wa photographer yeah. ilikuwa photography. Mm. So hiyo milioni yote angepatiwa ange afanye mambo na photography. Sasa hii angekuwa mbele sana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unajua tena nilikuwa naambia eh, kuna nini different nilikuwa tunaongea na dance artist. Uh-huh. Dance artist ananiambia eh mm. if you go to any course mm-hmm. upate hadoani ubai uko hiyo class uh. ama kwa hiyo class. Hiyo 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 nini? Hiyo kenye unasomea ina pesa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ukipata kama haina wakikundu. Yeah, ukipata tu ina wakikundu ndio <laughs> hiyo <laughs> job hiyo course ina pesa. Nienda home, nienda home. Ina course ya tutai mbure. But actually uh, the thing that nimeka come notice eh mm-hmm. kuna ile unajua like kuna kuangana ile pressure ya wazazi. Sure. You know yeah, we, sometimes yeah, sure. we study what our parents want. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want us to be doctors. Yeah. They want us to be lawyers. So most of the time na, na wananga watu wengine wanasomeanga the courses that the parent wants. Mm-hmm. Akisha maliza there's an artist mwenye alimaliza akachukua certificate yake, akachukua degree yake. <laughs> akapea madhe yake, akamwambia madhe <laughs> ndio hii. Because yana jua the thing is as much as yes amesoma iko kwa akili, si ndio? Acha nikwambie, onio kitu. Mimi mm-hmm. sikusikia nimesikia. Mm-hmm. Ni kitu nimeona. Mm-hmm. I have a friend of mine mm. alikuwa anafanya nga engineering. Mm. So ni ile na pressure mzazi na pressure lazima ufanye engineering ufanye nje msele alikuwa msani. Mm. Yeah, he's a big producer by the SI. Mm. Alikuwa anafanya nga engineering. Mm. Mzazi akampressure akampressure akamwambia akamwambia siwezi kupeleka shule ndio kusoma muziki hawezi hawezi. Mm. Sio kapenuk jana lazima tu angesoma. Mm. So yeye alienda akasoma akafanya degree yake. Mm. After kumaliza siku ya graduation, mm. alienda akapea mzazi akamwambia shika mm. ndio kitu kwa taa nikulete. Shika acha mimi nisome kitu ya <laughs> kitu yangu yenye mimi nataka. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, another thing pia nonanga 
kuna wale wenye wanasoma anga what they are told to study mm-hmm. and then wanapiga anga side aso look hiyo unajua mzazi anajua anasoma yeah nafikiria unasoma yeah but in reality huko nje unapiga aso mbaya sana then uh, ukimaliza ukimaliza hiyo as much as unasoma hiyo course yao mm-hmm. tena wewe unapiga aso una book part time classes of Kenya unataka yeah whether there is that kuna tu mtu labda anataka kuwa music producer as much as you have the passion and it is in you kuna ile pia unaenda ngatu shule ku perfect not yeah. to certain ile ati ujui but unataka ku perfect from the professional so at least ameko pale kwa game so you find that there are certain people who does that they go to school during the day uh, after hapo hivyo they wanaingia ka hustle kidogo mm-hmm. wanaingia pale wanachapa lesson yao 2 hours mm-hmm. jioni usiku anaingia tena sasa nyingine uh-huh. so unapata hoja ma by the time anamaliza shule ako na both certificates aja lose ame aja lose ya yeah. ako win win on both sides so uh, the thing that i think I, I, uh, most people should understand eh? mm-hmm. and uh, i guess this is what my chemistry teacher used to tell me mm-hmm. alikuwa anambia the problem are uh, the reasons why you guys fail eh? mm-hmm. you study to get employed yeah sure what if you studied to know no. Yaani usome tu ujue. Usisome usisome upate kazi. Kwa jamii kitu moja mimi sema. Ona ukwe ukwe we ni ni side hau kwa ni businessman ukwe we ni nani. Mm-hmm. Ona people work. People work na kuanga muhimu. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you have your degree, that certificate, your diploma mm-hmm. ni muhimu sana. Hata kama itakusaidia saa hii, mm-hmm. later itakusaidia. Yeah because unajua kuna you, you, you can have a gift maybe. Yeah. Sema anga you can have that gift. But inafika anga point Uh, the 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 paperwork you can nayo it will determine how much you can now earn yep because of the kuna wale wengine wanapata wanapewa peanut unapata you una anything mm-hmm. unapewa tu yani unaweza pewa anything lakini <laughs> the moment you have that paper like <laughs> hii ni karatasi hii kitu anafanya as much as yes unasomea kenye mzazi anataka mm-hmm. also go back to school and do what you like yep. ama spare that time hata kani kupiga side hustle nilipanga mdogo mdogo <laughs> eh unaingia yeah wa... unaingia pale <laughs> ama vipi don kabisa unajua don huyu jamani nilipua fee uh, akaanza kusoma kidogo alafu akaja tu ali lose to interest <laughs> uh, unajua <laughs> Miko kuna ile ta unene kuna period fulani yenye yenye a student ama mm-hmm. uh, mtu anafaa jijue especially the youths mm-hmm. unaona hiyo time after high school immediately mm-hmm. after high school unaona yeah. most of the people wanapotelea anga hapo mm-hmm. so after high school kuna ile test na kongana high school kwa sababu either uko rende mm-hmm. ama uko na group ama uko yeah. na nasema excitement hapa na pale life ya kuchapa ile kitu unaona mm-hmm. so after high school nasema uko high school nasema i want to be a, like a, a, a system analyst yeah unaona so like me i wanted to be a system analyst after high school unaona <laughs> so and then mm-hmm. uh, after immediately after high school mm-hmm. i went direct kwa college kusomea sio kitu unaona mm-hmm. so and then uh, with the change of environment unaona from Ushago to Nairobi ni discover eh hey, Nairobi kuna more it's more adventurous compared na Ushago unaona yeah. so kuna venye interest ilianza ku change vitu naanza kupata na camera vitu kama hizo unaona mm-hmm. tu and then my interest back then was mambo na ku drawing na vitu kama hizo so high school mm-hmm. nilikuwa i wanted to be a system analyst so after kuingia high school napata hiyo hiyo course in kama ni peleke vizuri nikaamua ku dropisha at uh, that point na sikutaka sikutaka mzazi ama mwenye alikuwa na sponsor endelee ku ku spend yeah. na kitu hicho itansaidia na hii haiko kwa interest yangu unaona mm. so i think uh, after high school mm. my students nafaa wa spend at least some time nje mm. na hata kani uh, one year ama something mm. ndio wajijue kwanza unaona mm. with that nasaidia kufanya akili machue unaona mm. ki so, ukitoka kwa shule umeingia direct kwa world mm. ikuonyeshe kugonge gonge hapa na pale na pale na pale na inakuwa kwenye inakuwa inakupatia ujanja ku protrude kwa hii kwa hii ni kwa hii Nairobi ama the country. So naweza sema like uh, it is important kulingana na mimi my idea is it is important for a person to kwenda to experience some life nje ndio you decide what you want sa ukiingia kole. I think hiyo uh, kulingana na mimi naweza saidia. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, ni tukirudi back kwa the comment section tuko na Munji Miriam anasema tuko ndani sana. Mm-hmm. Nyinyi ni wa baraka. Thanda sana na Do, DJ Don. Mgeni ako sawa kabisa kwa wazazi kutuza talanta lakini encourage mtoto masomo muhimu sure. akiwa na zote ni vyema. Yeah. Yeah, sure. any comment on your side? Aha, uh-huh. comment on my side. Uh-huh. 
asioni comment kuna hii uh, prophet revival shadrack alikuwa anasema mambo na namba haoni namba kwa screen na mtumia namba hapo afanye mambo ambayo <laughs> and then uh, uh, we don't have any other comments uh, kuna request as in about to share to share cheza hope yeah. uh, ingalo ya yesu you are online to view your request and thank you for tuning in yeah, yeah in case you have uh, your, an, an opinion and you are watching the show unaweza comment hapo kulingana topic ya leo talent versus education what do you think about uh, talent versus education yeah Yeah so I want us to go for a short musical break and then to hapa tena na our guy here our guests of, to, of the day at least atuambie passion yake na nini lim drive nini nini aswa um drive kwa business ni is it anapata hiyo profit daily ama <laughs> <laughs> at least because unajua as much as yes, you are doing business yeah. you're not guaranteed like every day you have a profit yeah, yeah, sure, yeah sure, so sure, at sure. least atuambie <laughs> kujua because he ni student <laughs> ana balancing ya jizo stress kabisa unapata uh, uh, exams ndio imekuja ime kuja mbaya sana loss pia na kuanga kwa biashara rent pia ndio hiyo rent kila kitu yeah so at least i just go for a short musical break and then to hapa even am sending wetu i know uh, like there are a lot of stuff that we gonna learn and then from after him so kwa nam sending wetu wa power sana and it will just place in the house so stay tuned you need to take that this is the no this is what a talent can do a talent can make you entertained like the whole the whole day bila kuanda bila kuna stress ama bila kuna anything and i normally think of this eh? the moment you have stress what g- gets uh, rid of that stress is talent from someone actually uh, whenever you are feeling ukolo what gives you uh, that courage ya kufanya everything that is just uh, kwa stress free so for instance eh? Uh, nilikuwa naambia about an artist uh, actually anafanya secular na ni dem. Yeye alienda kasoma after kumaliza kusoma alikuwa naimba na nasoma. By the time alimaliza shule alichukua the certificate akapea the mom akamwambia mom now this is what you wanted now let me pursue what i wanted. She, she actually did accounting, accounting na alikuwa offered the job na mama yake kwa a top bank. Ile mama yake anajua unajua our parents are like kuna wale wazazi wanakuanga na connection so the moment they take you to school to study a particular particular job wanakuanga tayari wanajua hiyo job iko hivi wanajua 101% sure unaenda kupata hiyo kazi so it reached a point where by you feel like it's not your thing pitson pia ni aliquit job aliquit uh, kazi ya bank kupass you music uh, then there, there was another guy anaitwa nani huyo uh, there was another guy a comedian actually uh, Yeye yeah, alikuwa na hiyo passion ya kufanya comedy. So ile time yeye alienda alikuwa anafanya pia job kwa bank. So ile alikata alikuwa anafanya job hapo ana feel hiyo job ni kena mfit. So day yake ya birthday alikuit job. Unajua hiyo time alikuwa anaongea na the manager. Mm-hmm. So the manager akamwambia, "Eh hey, mzee ni poa na fuache job. Eh ufanye hiki kitu hiki tu unaweza." So after yeye kuit kazi kurudi job. So unajua alikuit kazi hey, akajaribu comedy, akaona kumeumana, saa kuna job. Yeah. Akasema, "Eh hey, hakuna job." acha nirudi huko job alikuwa na job akapata huko hivyo job huo manager mwenye alikuwa na advice akasema huo jamaa kirudi hapo asipewe kazi mm-hmm. and i, I think hiyo uh, ndio ile drive huo mse kufanya ile gift yake because most of the time uh, we normally do our gifts but without without know that much passion because unajua ngatu kuna mali utaangukia lakini the moment like kila mahali kila mlange imefungwa you only have that door you will have to make sure ume work hard to achieve it ndio yeah sure question yangu ni hivi eh mm-hmm. uh, you've been into business uh, unafanya muziki and then you are in school mm-hmm. how do you handle like uh, how do you handle stress okay stress stress na kuanga kila siku mm-hmm. kila siku hizi kosa stress mm-hmm. so nilo napata inabitu umeji balance wewe mwenyewe mm-hmm. uzi napata madhe hapa kuna shule shule kama ni exam lazima ufanye mm-hmm. kama ni kazi lazima u balance isiende isiende chini hata kidogo mm-hmm. so inabidi tu ume take ume manage time yako vizuri mm-hmm. ya time management tu kwa tu muhimu Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, because uh, unajua kuna kuna vitu kama the things like uh, uh, we have a job unachukia job yako mm-hmm. you need to pay that premise uh, temenyo yuko unaacha mse pale you need to pay that person nyumba yako pia iko pale the landlord hey. uh, pia nyumba ina failipo <laughs> so and then uh, kuna pia kitu inaitwa loss loss because yeah. uh, 
hii time ya pandemic mm-hmm. by the hii time ya pandemic ilikuwaaje on your side okay side yetu mm-hmm. kuna zile siku za kwanza hizi miza kwanza kwanza ile kuanga mbaya mm-hmm. mpaka inafika point tunasikia kufunga kazi mm-hmm. tuzo ni wajiulizo na kufunga kazi wende wapi So tulifanya hiyo time ya pandemic most of tulifanya kazi mm-hmm. jua kuna tuna option. Mm-hmm. Eh. So uh, kazi ilikuwa mbaya 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 yeah. So what would you advise like a person watching li- like live right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, the person like ana feel kufanya biashara because mtu mwingine anafanya. Okay, usifanye biashara juu zinafanya. Mm-hmm. Kitu kingine usifanye biashara juu umesikia mwenzako anafanya. Mm-hmm. Fanya biashara ukijua nini unafanya. Mm-hmm. Biashara inaweza kufanya utoke Nairobi urudi kwenu ushago. <laughs> <laughs> If you are not keen biashara itakurudisha kwenu ushago. Mm-hmm. So lazima tu ukianza biashara ujue nini unaanza mm-hmm. na ukuwe ready ku risk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, biashara it's all about risking. So uh, the first time kuingia kwa business mm-hmm. uh, what were your, your like your expectations Okay mimi mm-hmm. si kwa expect nita, nita pasiwa 100% like ifo venye niko sai mm-hmm. mimi nifaji usiku wa siku na kitu kingine ya kufanya home mm-hmm. mimi nimemaliza form 4 mm-hmm. nilikuja mm-hmm. then my sister mm-hmm. nearly introduce kwa biashara mm-hmm. akaanza akanipianga akanambia uwezi kuna shinda kwa nyumba the whole day alafu anataka nikupe pesa mm-hmm. so ika happen kuna kibanda alikuwa nayo mm-hmm. kanambia kuna kibanda nimechukua mahali mm-hmm. unaweza kuwa unaenda mm-hmm. nitakumwagia socks mm-hmm. wewe uzange tu socks mm-hmm. so iko hiyo dundo kazi yako mm-hmm. so mimi nilianza kuuza socks mm-hmm. wiki, yako, wiki za kwanza mbili nikauza socks mm-hmm. then akaniletea bra mm-hmm. akanigawia bra kutoka kwake mm-hmm akaniletea so mm-hmm. nikauza socks na bra miezi mbili mm-hmm. yeah. kutoka hapo mm-hmm. nikaanza ku develop hiyo attitude ya biashara mm-hmm. yeah. so even though kaenda ukafika now yeah pole pole to me sema kila kitu na kuanga you just trust the process mm-hmm. yeah kitu kidogo tu inaweza inaweza end up kwa kitu kubwa sana mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like uh, kwa hiyo so uli, ulianza biz because like uh, ulikuwa huko na kitu ya kudu siku wa kitu ya kufanya so na ile na nilihitaji pesa mm-hmm. so na ile time yenu ilikuwa na like close mm-hmm. nini ilikuwa na ku encourage like kuendelea okay hai kwa na loss vile like when designing a notice mm-hmm. unajua kitu ndo kitu ndo biashara uta notice mm-hmm. vitu mingi kama haujui ku manage vizuri ndo zitakupiga loss mm-hmm. eh yeah. so kitu ndo unaona venye pesa venye naenda mm-hmm. Yeah. so like uh, you know how to uh, mm. manage tena the siku wa accurate sana kuzi kuna pata ni kama yeye ni alikuwa ni manage oh. eh. so through lessons zake mm. eh, imefanya like yeah. kwa kwa successful mpaka sasa hivi yeah 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 sure yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. uh, you know like uh, most people uh, they tend to start businesses not because like ni passion yao mm-hmm. uh, kuna ule mtu anaona like uh, sasa kuna ma producer wana hit msaki release ngoma producer me hit yani unasikia tu ni producer fulani so they are like um, if i do music uh, producers wanna make do so let me do it let me at do least it. i also make money sa hapo ndo kumefanya the worst mistake mm-hmm. mm. because because na mimi kanya naambia ngao hata times you can do that and then unapata the end of the day uh, ile hasa lenye ulikuwa napiga hiyo mm. uh, muziki unapata kuna mwezi tu sana wa recording na hiyo ndo kitu napata wasanii sasa hii mm-hmm. msee anamkaso boy mm-hmm. anasema ai umsemsha kwa rich tu kwa tunajuana kutoka lini mm-hmm. anaamua kufanya kama yeye mm-hmm. akifikiria atafika hiyo point kama yenye yako mm-hmm. hajui the struggles yenye huyo msia amepitia yeah. msanii hatokangi chini siku moja na amka na shoot yeah. ina taking time yeah. Yeah. so it takes times to be whoever you wanna be yeah sure eh hey. sio ndo tunakuwa tu ni miamini mm-hmm. yeah so uh, so umetuambia like you are also an, you are also an artist mm-hmm. uh, what drives you as an artist Okay, mimi yangu ilianza na tu high school kitambo mm. nilikuwa <laughs> uko na o- yeah. yep. so it takes times to be whoever you wanna be yeah sure eh hey. sio ndo tunakuwa tu ni miamini mm-hmm. yeah so uh, so umetuambia like you are all son you are all- so uh, uh, from <laughs> then your passion <laughs> eh hey, nikapata tu passion tu pole 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 mm-hmm. then nikapea friend mengi ya high school nilikuwa mm-hmm. na nili joining siu nikaingia kwa kwaya then mwaka mshe ndio tulipata ng opportunity kwa yenyewe kuna something what advice can you give like uh, the people wenye asawa kwa chuo 
mzee wako shule mm. okay me advise na pia mzee wako shule ni I trust the process. Mm. Yo kusoma mm. unaweza soma but usi achieve anything. Mm. But at the end of the day utakuwa umepita a lot of struggles, mm. utakuwa umelearn a lot. Mm. Of which kitu yenye unaweza enda hata uambie mtu mwingine. Mm. Eh, unapata nga mtu mimi mm. sema masomo kidogo mm-hmm. yuko kwa muhimu sana. Mm. Yeah. So um so soma apate knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. So si kazi. Si kazi. Mm. Knowledge. Ni unapata ona nini? una atio kazi ya kazi ya engineering ya nini mm. hatuendagi tunafunzwa vitu zingine mm. vitu zingine endaa kujua afuta umeingia kwa kampuni yeah. Yeah. so kuran uh, kuran business I, i normally think like for instance mm-hmm. if you are doing any management course uh, you can use that skill skill yenye umefunzwa pale kwa ni vitabu mm. ndio unakaa mko apply yeah so you run your own business using the skills that umelearn pale umelearn yeah sure yeah so kama uh, Baadhi unacheka anga wase wakifundishwa pale dara ame na kuangaaje? <laughs> <laughs> Because when you boss tayari unajua tayari you are boss eh? tayari you are earning. Mimi mi hadi watu ni enjoy. Mm-hmm. Wanasema anga huyu amekuja kusoma nini? Amekuja kufanya exam gani? Hajasoma ni biashara. Tu in fact naingia msa niambia hey, designer umeingia. Amekuja mm-hmm. kusoma nini? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh so ni ni kuni ka- enjoy tu. <laughs> But then fine cause you want to take like You are living a life in Yule msana ndima ya kulivia. Ana ndima ya kulivia. Yeah, so unajua kuna ule msana ngoja kupata kazi, mm-hmm. tayari you, you have employed yourself. Yeah. yeah. So that's a very big challenge. So I wanted to give uh, your, tw- your uh, social media handles mm-hmm. na wasio pia je vanyanaza kupata where the shop is located na what people can expect from you na pia advice kubwa sana yenye unazaachia like uh, wala wasi wana to watch sai. Okay. Social media has handles zangu niko na my account yangu Instagram ni Prince Joe Music niko na hiyo shop ni Juice Collection Instagram Facebook account yangu sina but niko na account ya shop Juice Collection yeah ukitaka yeah. kunipata shop yetu mm-hmm. iko located Kaole Junction mm-hmm. behind Club Davenist mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's nice so kuna 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 tunapiga luku <laughs> ni kijana pale anakwanga anatuharibu pale so if you are, if you want a good clothes if you are an artist you are a model uh, yani you are just any person in the entertainment industry and you need like those good stuff from suits kiatu uh, kama ni nguo anything just name it ndio na shukuru sana shukuru sana umekuwa my loyal customer kutoka to day one lakini day one ndio nipeleka mbele ni kawaida tu nisenda kuna nango mali kuo jamaa manzee jamaa amekata na do 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 no acha 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 leo acha tu leo ni ni chome tu haribu tu eh mzee ana kubagain day one mnaenda pale kubagain manzee eh nikasikia tu eh buda manzee yezi jo haiwezi karudi na do yangu bali hoja nilikuwa na kile unajua hasle kuna mali una bagain nyingi eh unafika alafu na kwa like sasa hii unacheki hapa nimebaki na haka chuani yeah. ako kana kupeleka leo ndio fia tu umebakisha sasa yeah. <laughs> wao jamaa unamwambia mzee cheki mzee niko na 350 niko na 350 yamekuwa mia 400 yamekuwa mia 400 ai unajaribu kwani unakata kuita nakwambia waenda tu eh unasikia tu umeenda baadaye umepotelewa nakumbuka ai acha nikupe siri moja on the moment tunapata customer ameingia mmeongea hii bei wewe umekatalia yako mm-hmm. alafu atoke aende mm-hmm. na uone amerudi tena mm-hmm. there's no yo msia na anaendanga mm-hmm. penye tu alikuwa amesimamia si mianda na ukaamua kurudi mm-hmm. wezi toka hapo ndio gati ya biashara tu kidogo Kenya in hii in Africa tunakungana ile mm-hmm. view ya nini bargaining ya wache kwanza bargaining mm-hmm. ya hoka ya hoki unajua mahoka hoka kikuangalia tu hivi sura anajua kama wewe unakaa pesa Ara sasa kama una pesa uh-huh. huwa kikuangalia anga hivi na umuongee eh wewe umenunua yeah you can tell msemo nyako serious mimi nakuja tu kucheza cheza ya unasema tu maji but the biscuits obviously the last message unaweza pea hawa senya na to watch like live right now and what do people what should people expect from Joe's collection Okay mimi nako watu na towards mm-hmm. napenda kwa mimi amse mimi sema kitu ya kwanza mm-hmm. small things matter hiyo mm-hmm. kitu uko nayo hapo ndogo mm-hmm. usidharau mm-hmm. ile nitakuzalishia hiyo kitu kubwa unataka Amen. kitu kingine mm-hmm. you trust the process 
mimi sema hiyo ni hiyo hiyo time utrust mm-hmm. time like pole pole tu hiyo mm-hmm. kitu ndogo mm-hmm. ndio na invest nayo tu pole 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 mm-hmm. mwisho itakamkuwa tu kitu kubwa amen yeah. so usiamke asubuhi uta ukifikiria utaamka asubuhi jipate kuwa successful mm-hmm. zi oh that's nice so what what should we expect from the collection the more and more and more designs mm. uh, wow that's awesome yeah so uh, thank you very much bro for coming through uh, to me shukuru sana uh, may the may god bless your work and everything that you are doing mm-hmm. may they succeed in jesus name amen so uh, i want us to go for a musical break and then to rudi back na msani wetu wa siku anaitwa just to bless so stay tuned do reach at that knob to patane in the next section this is the knob